Black Panther is a new film directed by Ryan Coogler and it stars Chadwick Bosman, Michael B. Jordan, plus an astonishing talented cast. Chadwick Bosman is playing T'Challa, who's being named King of Wakanda, a city in the middle of Africa which is strictly hidden from the world and no one knows about his whereabouts. And then someone has resurfaced from T'Challa's father's past to challenge T'Challa's throne. Before I give my thoughts on the film, I just want to give my personal shout out to Ryan Coogler. He has directed three films. He's 31 years old. He is automatically a prodigy because one of his three films was an Oscar contender. And by watching this film, there's so many things to praise with this film. And T'Challa sees the hardships. He sees there's a dark past revolving around his ancestors. Plus you get a feel about his mindset and what he's trying to do better. And while he becomes king, everything is not easy. And I think that Chadwick Bosman delivered a powerful performance. Like I, he put lots of effort into the role. And it's not only T'Challa, it's other characters. Other characters have to look within themselves and see what were the problems are and what they can do to fix these problems. That's one of the things that I like about this film so much. They develop these characters to the core and for an MCU film that's able to deconstruct their characters just so they can build them back up again, it is astonishing. And another thing I gotta praise is that Ryan Coogler showed the advancement of the civilization of Wakanda. They showed the technology and the technology of Wakanda makes the technology in the United States of America look like a, it's just a basic calculator. And not only did Ryan Coogler show the, the technology, he showed the different types of tribes, the different types of cultures from each tribe. I have to praise the costume design and the aesthetic and basically after you watch this film you are automatically introduced to this whole entire vast civilization of Wakanda. The character Michael B. Dorton is playing. He's playing a character named Killmonger and I gotta say that Killmonger is by far either the second best villain in the MCU and I understood his conviction and for Killmonger I understood why he was a villain. I got behind him and I, I completely understand why he was killing people for a good cause. And another great thing about this villain that this villain was so great that his motive impacted the hero. To me if a villain is it has a motive and the motive impacts the hero to to a psychological level and it alters his perception of reality, then that is a, an astonishing way to introduce a villain. Another villain I, I would say that was in this film, his, his name is M'Baku. I thought the person who played M'Baku did a good job for the time he was on screen. That everyone in this film did their part. The, the talented cast, the Angela Bassett, uh, Dion, Diani uh, Guri, uh, Lupita Youngo, they did a fantastic job with their role. The acting sequences was, was quite efficient. It was entertaining to watch. Some of the action sequences does rely a little bit on CGI and the CGI does come off a bit noticeable at times. And there's this one scene where this character with T'Challa is looking up at these mountains and things. Ship at the very ending of the movie that you can tell is complete cartoon and doesn't really fit. You just feel like it's that one thing that doesn't really belong there. The action sequences revolving around T'Challa and Killmonger was one of the best things I really got behind. The final battle did remind me a lot of Spider-Man 3. Other than that, this film was definitely entertaining. I love the culture. I love the advancement, the technology of the world. Bosman did a fantastic job playing T'Challa. He gave out a great performance. The film was funny, but it wasn't that type of funny where it's like a nuisance. I'll go with you to the anus. And I still had a blast with this film. I still laughed. It, they did a good job of balancing out the action sequences and the humor. So I got to give... Black Panther, a Christian Bell Batman. This is definitely a, a great film to buy on Blu-ray and a film you watch multiple times. This is entertainment at its finest. So guys, that's my review of Black Panther. Have you seen Black Panther? Please let me know. Let you guys know, I have a few videos in the works. I'm going to talk about the whole entire MCU. I'm going to rank all the MCUs in order, but I'm, going, but I'm not going to do it all in one video. I'm going to break it down into three videos. So stay tuned for that. It's, I cannot wait to talk about my rankings of the MCU. It's going to be great fun heading your way. And also check out my short film, The Zone. And just feel free, 
Have fun and check that out. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. You are the best, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me and the Batman family. I will have more Batman-tastic reviews in the way you have been warned. Till then, ciao.